What's going on guys? Welcome to the uh, third ATR video. In the last video we actually calculated ATR. In this video we want to go ahead and plot it up on that chart. Uh, if you don't have the chart and you're not following this tutorial linearly, to get the chart that we're going to edit into, you're going to want to visit centdex.com slash startingpoint.py. Pay attention to camel casing. And just do a nice control A, control C, and then come over to an empty Python script and control V. So here is our chart with a nice blank uh, start new indicator code right here and this is where we're going to do it. We basically want to take our other script here that we only just wrote go ahead and just remove this function because we don't need it uh, in this one and then highlight here go all the way up to the definition of TR copy that bad boy come over here paste that bad boy right in there and scroll up here and just up to here, and tab, tab, two tabs, and everything will be aligned just right. Now the next thing that we want to do is to be come down here, do ax2.plot. What do we want to plot? We want to plot tr dates. Uh, to make sure it aligns with the rest of the data, we're going to go ahead and do minus sp colon. Uh, sp starts for starting point. And it's basically so all of our data lines up. If you want to learn more about that, uh, watch the uh, charting tutorial. Anyway, ATR, again, minus SP colon, or you could read the code and probably figure it out. Anyway, we're going to plot that with a, as a white line. Next, we're going to do plot Y label. Uh, and the Y label we're going to use uh, is going to be ATR. And since we're using 14, it's going to be ATR 14. Finally, since our background is black, our tech can't be black, so color is going to equal white. That should be it. Hopefully we don't have any errors. It's pretty common that we'll get an error though, so we'll find out what we got. Anyway, so we run it, stock to plot. Let's go ahead and do Exxon. Nope. No error. Nice. So we bring it over here, and let me just drag it on our screen. Cool. So now you can see we got ATR, looks about the same as the uh, one that I showed you before uh, for Exxon. And obviously if you want to change up uh, ATR, it's relatively simple to do. Uh, you know, so we can make a 5, 5, uh, we'll rerun it. Let's do another stock, let's do uh, Tesla. So I'll run for Tesla here. <laughs> That's an interesting one, isn't it? Uh, Tesla oversold, man, or over, uh, overbought. You you serious? I would never have thought that. That's crazy. Man. Just kidding. Tesla was always kind of crazy. Anyway, um, so as you can see here, volatility, as price was going up, it was just like, okay, Tesla's crazy. <laughs> right? And then the RSI is like, ah, uh, <laughs> watch out. <laughs> anyway, that's funny, man. RSI has been screaming since like this point, man. And you can almost see it's gonna it's like coming down almost to that point. That's that's awesome. Anyway, um, so the idea of starting point again is just so it line like all this data lines up at the same spot. So it's just kind of nice. Um, so anyways, uh, that's your ATR. Pretty interesting for volatility. Again, you can see it matching up with with volume here. Uh, so I really think we mesh up volume and and the ATR. It's just it's really I think I think it's pretty impressive how how well this matches up and again it's using two different data sets besides volume so you can do some pretty cool stuff anyway um, that's going to conclude the uh, ATR video series or mini series within our Python mathematics and stock indicator series uh, the next video uh, will be all about the uh, directional movement system which uses the uh, ATR here and actually does pretty cool stuff. So uh, stay tuned for that video. Hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.